hello and welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to the wrapped in scraps channel friends it has been quite a week i had the c for the third time i have all my vaccinations but this third time it didn't last as long as the other times but it was horrible okay on day two i thought i was gonna die i did i thought i was gonna have to call honey in the room and have him read me my last prayers and rites because it was horrible but anyhow <clears throat> i am completely in my robe because i just picked up my kids from school and i decided i was gonna get comfortable because why not i wanted to print some mugs to go with my purses not mugs but tumblers so you can see all my beautiful babies here behind me can you can you see so all my babies here um those of you who know me know I love a good handbag. Love a good handbag. So um, what I'm doing is making different tumblers to go with different handbags. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Bring you along with me. Okay, I look so washed out in this light. Sorry. It's a makeshift light too. But anyhow, um, so I'm going to share that with you. Definitely going to share with you guys my, sublim my new sublimation machine. How I set it up. We're going to press out a mug to go with one of my beautiful purses. And I'll share that with you guys. Also, you guys, my oils are in my Etsy shop. Go to my Etsy shop and you're going to find... Shop, you're going to find the seductive honey, the fresh pear, the juicy pineapple, the cherry, the sweet apricot, black raspberry vanilla, distinguished gentleman, pleasurable peach, and pure vanilla bean. You guys, I have good reviews on my oils. Um, if I do say so myself, you will not be disappointed if you decide to order one from me. Support your girl. Check uh, it out. Wrapped in scraps dot etsy.com i'll leave it down below and right now i'm wearing my apricot oil so my friends this is the tote that we're going to be making the mug for um it is a coach tote i absolutely love it the notepad to go with it also a little and of course i made um a scent a scent cart to go into it because you know we like to match so that's what we did there all right you guys so i purchased the epson e eco tank 8550 as you can see here and we're going to be using this for sublimation okay if you're not familiar with sublimation um i guess i'll explain some of it to you but here's my sublimation ink that i ordered offline and this is not the regular ink this is not the ink the machine came with um, this is specialty ink for printing things on shirts, okay? So we're going to turn it on. So you guys, what you're going to do is follow the prompts either on your phone or on your computer uh, to set up this printer. You're going to go through your Epson inks and you're going to make sure that you don't put your Epson inks. You're going to put your sublimation inks if that's what you're doing, okay? Or your equal sodium inks if that's what you're doing. I'm doing sublimation today. So I made sure first thing I did was to move all my Epson inks out of the way so that I did not mix one with the other because there's no going back in this process. So here you see me filling up all the reservoirs with my new sublimation ink. Please be very careful while doing this. Do one at a time. Double check your labels. Double check and make sure you have the right color going into the right reservoir. That is very, very important. Again, this is a one-time shot, okay? Once you get everything filled up, the printer will then prompt you to do a few more steps, calibrate, and then you'll be set and ready to go. All right, you guys. So you guys know how I like to say fake it and make it. So yes, I took my purse, my tote, and I scanned it on my sublimation printer and I printed out a piece of paper with sublimation ink on it to match my purse. Now, I've already wrapped it around my mug and I have done a shrink wrap on the mug to hold the paper tightly against the mug. I do have the Cricut mug press, so I use that. And then I use one of the foams to... Um, add some more pressure to it as I printed it out. Now, the color of the mug is not the exact same color as the purse because sometimes it just depends on the type of sublimation mug you have or pressure or ink or whatever. So as you can see, it turned out pretty good, you guys. I just wanted to share this with you guys really quickly. Remember to stay loving you. Stay loving God. Stay loving life. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.